Hello, everyone, and welcome to this celebration call with our lovely Kim, who's finishing up her third week here with us at the retreat here at the farm. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, everyone. So happy to have you here. Your transformation has been amazing. So we're going to chat to you a little bit today about your experience. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. And we also have Simba and Mark, the lookalikes. Okay. <laughs> just the haircut and the glasses and the t-shirt <laughs> great minds think alike that's true <laughs> all right so um kim why would you why did you decide to come here why did you come decide to go out in the jungle outside of chiang mai it was actually quite a long journey as you know sarah for me to to get myself here so um but it began when we met in Bangkok at the Mind Body Spirit Festival. And what really um, attracted me to you and Simba and, and uh, uh, at that time was your authenticity and um, your belief in what you were doing. And uh, I just didn't know that such a place existed. And it was hard for me on mine to grasp the concept of what you were trying to do. Um, but uh, I just know as it got further and further, I kept putting it off and I kept calling you, Sarah, and thank you for your patience <laughs> in persevering on my many calls for me to fully check out if I really needed this. Like I'm slowly burning out in this corporate job and stressed and working 11, 12 hours a day, but do I really need help? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah patiently guided me through the journey. Um, but yes, it, basically what I just touched on was the um, incredible burnout. And the thing is, I work in this industry. I work in well-being purportedly, you know, but albeit in a corporate um, structure. And I've worked in drug and alcohol rehab. So I had all the head knowledge. I, I, I knew what I, you know, all the stuff I should be doing, but I wasn't. And I was missing something. And I was just getting uh, more and more burnt out, exhausted, uh memory lapses um I felt just like I was running on empty and in fact the the last two months before I got here I'd already booked I'd already paid and then I was like by the all that kept me going was I can get there I can make it it's just you know it was literally like a countdown because my body was just shutting down I was getting very sick yeah. a lot I was suffering from a lot of very bad migraines neck problems everything my whole body was just screaming in uh, pain and I was medicating so I was taking a lot of paracetamol and pharmaceuticals to try and get through my day yeah so I limped here to the farm <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean we started off with with uh, putting you on a detox and I told you like because I could I could see and I could feel what the the the, sh the, the shape the state that you were in and I mean you were not this radiant woman that is sitting in front of us when you were right. And it's only three weeks ago. It's amazing. I know. It's a cr incredible. Mm. And I told you, it's like, <laughs> I, I, I remember I told you like, it's going to be like a landing, but your, yours might be a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you did it super well. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So the process here is that we do a signature retreat for three weeks and to get people into this kind of transformation in such a short period of time, everything is like designed to activate the body's self-healing mechanism. So we put you on a, on a fast for a couple of days and you were like, I've never done that. It's not going to work. It's like, I, I don't think so. Da, 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 da. Yeah. How was that? Oh, you're so sweet. I think I was a little more hardcore than that. I was like, yeah, no, I don't think this is going to work at all. I, don't <laughs> think. <laughs> I had visions of myself like stealing into the kitchen at night. Um, but, yeah, no. <laughs> but then I, I started. I was actually, besides the fact the juices are beautiful, I was actually really surprised at, um, you know, how much uh, my body reacted to it. But I thought, wow, if this is the extent of what I'm holding in my body that needs to come out, that's really scary. So I'm going to persist because I, I'd rather they sort of horrible feelings and apps just to get out and yeah. just be free of it. Yeah. I mean, you've done so well. 
thinking. Let's let's my guides and teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's been such it's been amazing to have you here. To watch your transformation has been incredible. Thank you. I'm gonna give it over to the guys. Let's talk a little bit about the results that that Kim has gotten during this time. What it, what what do you notice? What what are you noticing? <laughs> Well, I just I remember when uh, when Kim first arrived and uh, she was kind of getting the tour and, uh, you know, everything's new. And I just remember like Kim was a little grumpy <laughs> <laughs> and and now she's graceful. Mm. And so, you know, the, this um, very quick transformation in your nervous system and um, it's been noticeable from the way that you carry yourself, the way you hold your shoulders um, the lightness in your expression, the uh, softness of, of your skin. Uh, it really is, um, you know, pretty amazing what can happen in a short amount of time when you really put in the work. And that's what Kim did. Yeah. Kim didn't come here just to uh, have a, a spa holiday. She came and she did the work. And when she was confronted with difficult emotional tests, she uh, jumped right in, much like when she uh, jumped into the ice. <laughs> with the ice bath. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the ice baths now. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just a testament to what is possible in a short amount of time when someone is really here to do the work and isn't um, holding back. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I agree with what you're saying. It was it was more sarcasm and I was kind of thinking of, uh, I've been a body worker for many years. And when I give people massages, when they come in at the beginning of a session, they're always talking fast and all these things. And I don't really have time for this, but okay, I, you know, I booked it. And, you know, I don't want to take up your time. And it was kind of this thing going on when I was working as a body worker back in Sweden. And then by the end of the session, just like Mark was saying, it was more ideas, creativity. I should do this more often. Why don't I do this every week? And and that's kind of what I saw, you know, happening to you as well. You know, the mental state changed and you can really see it by what you're, what you're internalizing and what you're vocalizing, right? What's coming out, but also mm, something more of you, I would say, right? Like it's, it's, it's a strange thing to say when you don't know someone, but we all carry a mask, a persona of who we are. And slowly that started to crack and I started to see like a really funny, happy, loving mm -hmm. person inside making all these jokes, but still very compassionate, always making sure everyone is fine. And yeah, it was just more of you that was starting to come out in this short period of time. And it's a beautiful transformation to see. And even though we challenge you at some points with mm -hmm. different aspects that we do here, like Mark said, you didn't shy away. You really just blossomed and, and allow yourself to grow and, and rise with those opportunities. So it's been amazing to watch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what have you noticed yourself? Um, I've uh, I've noticed that, um, like, you know, it's a safe space here. And this is what, um, it was funny when you said not a spa holiday. I was expecting a more, like, resort like experience where you know I'd be chilling and doing a bit of you know whatever and I'm glad I didn't get what I was perceived in fact it I don't know how to explain exactly what is on offer because you know I said to Sarah when we were talking it's like rehab for the soul yeah it's like I've been in this rehab for my spirit and soul and my spirit's gone oh my god there's hope okay oh my god there's a path I can follow this works it really really works and there is hope for me because I was really hopeless and you know as uh, Mark said when I came in I was grumpy I was sort of very defensive very anti-men very um, anti everything basically <laughs> everyone was out to get me I felt everyone wanted to use me and then I, I found two um, guides and my teachers you know Simba and Mark that are um, embody wonderful masculinity that's caring and compassionate and you know made me trust again you know that there is um, healthy masculinity out there and that I can be a healthy feminine you know it's not trying to be the tough one all the time and know everything and um, mind you the, my, when I went to classes I thought wow I, there's a lot I don't know like these guys know a lot <laughs> with the physiology and the neurology and then the spirit elements and you know, I think for me, body work and the somatic therapy was the missing key 
Like I had all this head knowledge, but it wasn't working. It wasn't giving me anything in my life. No joy, no feeling of betterment. Yet, you know, all of you um, patiently um, guided me and I realised it's the missing key. I feel like, oh, well, now I get it. This is what wasn't working before. I've got, you know, it's in my body, my traumas and my past and, you know, my addictions and my recovery from addiction. So, um, you know, I I just feel like the elephant's gotten off my chest and I can breathe again. And um, that's what I think is the most transformative for me. I can start to literally see all the flowers, and there's so many beautiful ones here, but you can start to see the flowers, you know, again. So, yeah, it's it, I can't, I don't think I would have gone on much longer. I think there would have been a breaking point, and I think it was very close. And this now has given me, um, and, of course, I'll be continuing on with the mentorship program most definitely because um, now I know, okay, this is the path that will lead me to, you know, further transformation. Hmm. Yeah, I get all emotional. I'm really happy about <laughs> oh, it. Say again? <laughs> My skin looks great too, which I'm happy about. It hasn't yeah. looked. It really it's does. You're like yeah. glowing. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Thank yeah, you. and I get all emotional when you share because I can I can still remember that feeling inside of myself, you know, the one one that you had when you came, and I can it's so close to what I felt, and just you know having that freedom from that is just amazing, and being being able to watch you going through this transformation in such a short period of time, and uh, I mean, you literally went from I mean. It's like watching some a flower blossom. Like, I mean, you're so beautiful and charming and kind and, you know, smiling and happy. It's like every time I sit here in my office and you come in the morning and, and you're already smiling before you see me, you know, it's like, and and <laughs> when you had so much uh, resistance to the ice bath and the pot <laughs> the first time, and that I was like- I know, and now I'm like- <laughs> That was like day two. <laughs> And I knew that, so we have that, that day to, to, to break the habit because it's such a body experience and that you jump into the pond and you were like, no, I don't want to go into the pond. And then you're like, okay, I'm going into the pond. And then you jump like a child, you know, <laughs> and then we swam a little bit and then you climbed up and you said, there's nowhere in the world I would rather be. I've actually had that thought several times here. Yeah. You know, there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be it. And at this exact moment, like with beautiful prani, with the, the healing massages in the craniosacral work with Simba in uh, T, uh, TRE and the breath, there's been moments where I'm like, I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. Mm -hmm. And it's been so long since I've felt that. I, as you know, Sarah, when you get caught up in this corporate sort of madness where you've got these masks everywhere, um, I, you know, you just keep going. You just yeah. keep going, going and going and you're like holding on like this. And now I just went, oh, okay, I'm right when this is just bliss. And I've even thought of that word a couple of times here. It's like bliss, you know. Very good. We will uh, <laughs> we will use that. <laughs> <laughs> and rehab for the soul, it really is. Like as someone that's worked in drug and alcohol rehabs and someone that's in recovery, you know, I know the processes of addiction and recovery from it and I thought I knew all of it you know had it all down pat but this to me is what's missing you know this you've created a space here and an experience here that I think is profoundly unique because you're addressing those elements that are missing like why can't I just get over this why do I keep thinking about smoking or drinking or whatever your your vibe you know your um, addiction be and here it's just um, with the somatic therapies and all the deep work you do it's just like I'm like, oh, wow, I'm actually starting to feel the demons release. Like they're actually going away, not just waiting there. <laughs> not just standing next door. Yeah, like, for a bad like, day, you know, soon? Friday afternoon when, you know, <laughs> after 100 meetings. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I feel that, uh, yeah, it's sort of come to the mountain mm. top. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. Mm. So what would you say... Um, what has stood out the most during this whole experience? Oh, it's really hard to answer that. It's because it's just such a holistic experience. You know, it really is truly holistic. And um, I think if anything, it's just the fact that, um, 
I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional. Um, just that it's such, it's really quite a sacred safe space. And for me, a safe space means a lot because um, I don't feel safe in a lot of spaces. Mm. You know, I don't feel safe to be myself. Um, I don't feel safe to share about my past. I don't feel safe to talk about my traumas. Like this feeling of always having to be on guard. And I think here, literally, I did the longest exhale um, of my life, you know, and I've had two major milestones, I think, which, you know, getting into recovery and getting clean and sober. And then I feel now like I'm getting really my traumas and all my baggage sorted and cleared up so I can actually live a life of freedom, you know, mm -hmm. where I can leave. I can finally say, oh, yes, I'm not a, these aren't a threat. I'm safe. I've got tools. I've got spiritual guides and teachers that will stay with me um, on the right path. And I haven't felt that in the longest time. Um, and, yeah, so that's why I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's just, I'm, I'm so grateful, you know, that you come into the space and that you feel like this. Yeah. And I think a lot of people need it. I think the world's crying out for places like this where people are authentic and and can, you know, and be guides mm. for those of us that are lost in the wilderness, you know. Mm. So. And the ice bath. <laughs> 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 and the food. No, you know. <laughs> But the food's been amazing as well because, you know, I, I didn't, I was so anti, you know, healthy, vegan, you know, vegetarian. I was so anti all that. Like, I can't do that. Now I love it. The lunch we had today was insane. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it, the food is is going to be a new, another new journey for me. Yeah. That would be, I'm so happy that you are continuing with us with the mentorship because, First of all, we don't have to say goodbye because that's awful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then just to make sure that you stay on track, you know, and that you continue this deep work that you have done and exploring these things with food and, and things like that. So I think it's essential because here I'm in my cocoon of love and, um, you know, this beautiful nature and the environment here is just stunning. And I thought I'd get bored, like, oh, on the weekend, there's no, you know, but, you know, there's always something to be reading, listening to your library of stuff is is wonderful. I've just loved it so much. But, go, you know, going back out into the real world, I need help to navigate those triggers, those daily triggers that we get um, while I make some big life changes and I need you to hold my hand through that. We love to. <laughs> That's what we love, big yeah. life changes in the right direction. I think it's yeah. easy to be distracted by the busyness of our lives, you know, and I think here, you know, I want to keep the perspective of what really matters yeah. in life. Do you have any questions, guys, or comments? Well, I've, uh, I've said a couple of times that I think that... Um, that Kim's soul dragged her body here. You know, it, 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 it was it was it was that 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 level that you know you 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 needed to come here so badly that you your body didn't know it, your mind didn't know it, but your soul did. And um, I think that uh, it was evidence, and that you've experienced a, a lot of breakthroughs because of that. You know, it was like this this moment in your life where something had to give, something had to change. And I'm really glad that you came to us for that change um, and that we will continue to support you through that. Yeah. Transformation. Yeah. That's how it, it really is a transformation. Just like, and your story of transformation inspired me to Mark Mitzel's like, wow, you know, we can change. The old adage, you'll ever can't change its spot is not true. We can change and transform. 100%. Yeah. yeah, I think you were really ready, you know, and just like Mark said, ready on, on a very deep level. Uh, the kind of work that I do with people, sometimes it happens straight away. That way I start to feel a connection and, and they can start to change something within them. But many times it's quite of a deep process. And sometimes it requires me actually to work with a person a little bit of time before you even place your hands on someone, but I, you know, first session, I was like, wow, okay, something is ready to open up here. Something is ready to let something go. And yeah, it was, it was just full on straight away. So just like Mark said, your soul really guided you here and 
we're really grateful to yeah be able to offer this space for for people like yourself you know to come here and do the transformation and you are the one that did the work right we guided you point the direction held space but you are the common denominator you're the person that did all of these things right so i think it's really important also to honor that and recognize that within you that you. you choose this and you allow yourself to go through this but i also like why you always there was never a, not a stupid question like you explained when i was like and why am i doing this like what is this why is this bad for me and or why should i be doing it this way you guys never sort of made me feel like um, I was asking a silly question. It was always, there was always an explanation that quite sometimes I was like, wow, okay, I didn't know that at all. Um, especially about, uh, you know, the effects on the nervous system of like caffeine and, you know, all the things I've been doing or eating my whole life, basically. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. So, what would you say that um, the qualities that you had? You know, when you came here, you we were we we've been talking about you know that you were in such a mess and it it was so stressful and this and that. But there was something inside of you that because as Simba said, you did this. I mean, we have we I mean we we have created a process that works, but mm. it 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 need as Simba said, you were so ready, but it's like what what qualities did you? have already when you came that made this such a success well in you know in a lot of programs I mean they call it the gift of desperation <laughs> so it was mm -hmm. definitely the gift of desperation um and also just openness and willingness like I thought if I'm going to you know this is um a, a, a once in a lifetime opportunity but I've decided it's going to be more than that so I'll be back. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's just a the openness and willingness. And I just thought, okay, you guys know what you're doing. I, if you're telling me this is the way to go and you've given me great, you know, evidence to support that and show me and I'm feeling the results, okay, let's let's do it. So I think for me it was the openness and the willingness and the readiness just to embrace having, um, you know, wonderful teachers and guides and just be open to that. And opening my heart again, as Mark was all about, and Simba, the connecting to the heart, you know, being heart led rather than head led. I had to like leave, you know, my head just is not my friend sometimes. Um, leave that behind and just go, okay, let's jump in, literally, feet first, mm. figuratively, <laughs> and literally sometimes <laughs> into the bond. No, <laughs> so, but yeah, that's I interesting. Us, you know, and leave preconceived ideas. I had so many yeah. preconceived ideas about what I knew and you know I don't think you know you should get to that state if you know a lot <laughs> like <laughs> so, well the stuff I knew was not helping me <laughs> so so uh, so yeah just be ready to have new beliefs and to shift old beliefs that are not serving mm. yeah I mean what the willingness mm. because that's what I remember you know when we met and then the calls so what I remember from the calls was that you you constantly like contradicted yourself and didn't trust yourself. It's like there was this, yeah, there was a massive distrust to everything. It's like, I don't know what to choose, but you, it's like what Mark says, the soul was dragging you here because you knew every time I talked to you, you knew that you were coming but then the head got in the game and and you started to not trust yourself. And now when I talk to you now, it's like you're so clear. Mm. It's like you just know. It's like mm -hmm. this and that and this and that. We talk about we talk about a lot of big things, you know, just the last couple of days before checking out and stuff. Mm. And you're just so clear. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah, just, I, that's actually a good point to bring up. I do feel a lot clearer, actually. Mm -hmm. I um it, I wasn't, I remember talking to you one day and even when you did the tour, that's right, you did the tour and put me, I forgot everything the next day. Yeah, That's how messed up my head yeah. was. I'm like, I was like, sorry, where was the, where we eat again? And every single thing you told me, I couldn't remember. That's just how my brain, I just couldn't be clear on anything. So yeah, I, that's an amazing gift to have that. Um, it's beyond price. It's the best... I was talking to um, one of my closest friends about it, and I said it's the, the best investment I've ever made. Oh, wow. 
best investment mm. I've ever made. And uh, I've never taken the time to really invest in myself as much as I did here, you know, emotionally, financially and physically, yeah. you know, getting myself away from work for this length of time and the investment of money and getting myself up here and then stumbling mm. around. But, yeah, it's the best investment I've ever, ever made in myself. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, great thank to hear. You. Yeah, thank you. And I'm so glad I don't have to say goodbye because I'd really yeah. be missed. So, yeah, that's done. I'm yeah, super happy about program. <laughs> Yes, I'm super happy about that. Yeah. Me so, too. what would you what would you say for the people who are sitting here listening, watching I'll this? Go for it. Just go for it. Like, <laughs> just come, like you know, on it, it. You know, we keep harking back to it. it's just I had no idea of what to do anymore. I didn't know how to get out of what was happening, and I I felt that I'd created this myself. I'd created this lifestyle and this that I was trapped in I just felt trapped you know and I think a lot of people do you know it's that breathlessness where you yeah. just go from one thing to the next and then you're like and he, and just what is it just doing rather than being yeah. you know doing 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 and um yeah and I was among I, I don't know maybe there was more people more hesitant than me <laughs> I don't know if that's possible but um but in retrospect, um, I'm just glad that you were patient enough to get me because I, I just, I can't emphasize enough how much, it, you know, it's going to set me on a different trajectory for life. And I hope that that can then help others. You know, if I'm going out there a kinder and better person, then that will hopefully, as Mark said once, it'll ripple down and we'll have a chain of, you know, a chain of love instead of a chain of pain okay. that we all live in at the moment. So just do it. <laughs> come. It's awesome. Come, come to the farm. Come, come to the farm. <laughs> yeah, and you made friends with the with the animals too. Oh yes. The the beloved animals, yes. Coco, the the puppy and all the cats. And but I think that's part of your heart opening. And it and animals know energy so well, don't they? Like at home animals aren't that responsive to me. Like even the other day, the little duckies like walk past within a, you know. 10 centimeters of me, like completely unconcerned, like da -da 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 -da. off they were totting. And I was like, okay. So, but they know that, you know, yeah, they feel safe with uh, you. Yeah, yeah. So you start to have a different energy, which is lovely. Mm. Mm. Anything else that you want to say or anything you guys want to say before we end this celebration call? Yeah, I just, you know, want to say that um you know I, I i really see so much of myself in you kim from where i was and and like you mentioned coming from the recovery community it always feels like there's there's just something missing mm -hmm. and and this is what it is this is what's missing and um this is the power to really turn your life around and and have a lasting effect mm -hmm. i agree yeah, and, and when you allow yourself to do the journey like this, when you lead with your heart and, you know, it is scary. It's a two-way street when you lead with your heart, when you don't go with your head first, right? Because you will feel pain at times and you'll feel everything around, but it's a two-way street. You can't not have the aspect of feeling the pain and, and not feeling the love and kindness and compassion from others, right? So mm. it is brave. It's a very brave thing to do, and it's very rewarding once we allow ourselves to do it, but it is can be very challenging to get to that point. So I'm really happy that you gave yourself that gift and uh, that you're still committed to to doing this work for yourself. Yeah. 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 And thank you, and I think that's a, a good point, is the, the gift of finally releasing all the tra trauma and pain of the past, stuff I thought I'd dealt with, but mm. I was still carrying in my body. Yeah. And that's what I didn't get. So, you know, going through all that pain in the detox and getting it all out, even through the pain, I thought, oh, this is finally getting all these long-held traumas um, released So, and keep going. And I just want to thank you all. It's just I, I found my tribe, as I said, so I'm very grateful to my living with the spirit tribe and I really look forward to it and, you know, the journey ahead further going on, you know, I really, really do. So I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank you thank so you, much. Yeah, thank you so, so much, Kim, for 
coming here, doing the work, showing the world that it's possible, sharing, you know, being part of the tribe, doing it. I mean, it does, it, it, it's as you said, you know, it sends ripple effects. It sure, it truly does, you know, so you're be, you being part of our bigger purpose, you know, the, and to live a life in freedom and, you know, live closer to our, to everyone's purpose. And yeah, we're so grateful that you chose to come to us and trusting us. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Absolutely. Lots of love. Lots yeah. of love. Lots of love. <laughs> Captain Cass. Captain Cass.